everyone, John here from Four Brewers and I'm back with another beer from my cellar. Today we're going to Delaware. Hi, I'm in Delaware. <laughs> and we're drinking a beer from Dogfish Head that I've had for quite a while. Um, this is a worldwide stout from 2009. Yes, 2009. I've been hanging on to this beer since 2009, like for real, and now I'm gonna open it. This is a 15% alcohol beer. It's a huge beer. It's definitely made for aging. Um, it fits well within the criteria. So uh, let's open it up and see what it is like. So this beer pours jet black, which I would say obviously it pours jet black. Um, let's see what it smells like. So right off the bat, I get a little bit of booze. I expected some more booze, um, but uh, it's, you know, it's not that bad. Just a hint of a soy sauce character on the nose. It smells sweet, too. It smells like a, a soy sauce, licorice, sweet kind of thing. It looks very oily in the glass, um, which I like. I like big, viscous stouts. Yeah, overall, it smells pretty damn good. Um, that soy sauce character, I think that that aroma can work well in very small amounts. Um, it adds a little bit of character to the nose. Um, as far as chocolate and stuff like that goes, maybe a little bit, um, like a milk chocolate kind of thing. Uh, there's no dusty cocoa. It's overall just a really clean smelling stout. Um, and for 15%, that's, that's good. It's 15% with zero adjuncts. So uh, yeah, let's see what it tastes like. That soy sauce character comes through in a big way, I think, on the flavor. It is sweet, um, like it's a little cloying. Uh, it does finish fairly dry. Yeah, that, that little bit of a soy sauce character with the sweetness kind of throws me off. Uh, it's something that I don't, I don't really like. Uh, I would prefer something that was a little more on the dark malty side. Um, not quite astringent, but a little more bitterness, I think. Uh, maybe just a little bit of astringency in there, but this is that, this is the, like the, that sharp soy sauce. It's not, I, I'm, I'm, I, think, I feel like I'm emphasizing the soy sauce too much. It's kind of a sharp sweetness with a little bit of soy sauce behind it. Um, you, can, you can feel it on your lips, like, yeah, it's a big beer. Yeah, it's, for me, it's kind of undrinkable right now. Um, yeah, it's, 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 it sits in the middle of your tongue and just kind of hangs out for a while. And it slowly dissipates. And then you get like this sticky feeling in your mouth. It's just not a fulfilling beer. It's kind of a struggle to drink. Um, this isn't my first time having this beer. I've had it uh, like two or three times early on when I started drinking beer back in 2009 when I bought this beer. And I kind of feel, felt the same way about it then that I feel now. Um, overall, it's, it's a fun experiment to buy a bottle. I think the bottles are like, I don't know, eight bucks a piece or something. Um, you can't really buy it in a six pack. It's kind of a single thing, uh, I think. But uh, it's, it's worth buying one, throwing it away for a decade or so and seeing what happens. It's not infected. There's, there's no flaws in it outside of the actual characteristics, characteristics I'm getting from the beer that I don't really like. So, um, yeah, I, I only have one bottle of this and I don't think I'll be buying it again. But overall, Dogfish, good job. You know, you made something. And uh, well, I don't like it, I'm sure others do. So that's one less beer in my cellar.